Given that cooling is such an important part of this project, let's talk to Jack LaPenta and see what he's been doing on the design. How's it going, Jack? Hey, Mitch, good. All right, buddy. If you don't mind, spend a minute here with us and give us an idea of what you're working on here. So what all have you got to cool in this electric Mustang? There's seven components to cool. One is the motor. The motor right. is on an uh, oil cooling loop. It's on its own separate loop. And the other six components are on a glycol cooling loop, or two glycol cooling loops, one for the front of the car and one for the back of the car. The components are the two controllers, All right. the front battery pack, the rear battery pack, the DC to DC converter, and the charger. Wow, a lot of stuff that has to be cool. Um, so those are on two separate glycol loops. Now how do you, how do you chill the glycol, or, or you know, get rid of the heat, so to speak? Yep, one thing we use is a radiator, right? So just to use ambient air. All right. Uh, the other one is a chiller or a heat exchanger where we use Freon and an AC compressor. So like an electric compressor like you'd see in a Tesla kind of thing? Exactly, just like Tesla does it. All right, now how do you handle the fact that these things may need different levels of cooling, like the big battery pack versus the small one, or a charger might not need as much as a battery? Well, the most important thing is making sure that we have a continuous flow of coolant, and that's why we have flow sensors. Um, but we also use different sized lines and splitters to make sure that things that need, uh, that are more sensitive to temperature have more cooling. All right, so basically you have sensors and you're going to slow down or, or reduce the amount of coolant for the smaller things or the things that aren't as hot, and then turn it up. And you got two pumps. That's right, there's a pump for the front of the car and a pump for the back of the car. All right, sounds good. Do you have any kind of a picture of what this is going to look like on the outside? Uh, here's an example of what it will look like on one of the battery packs. Hey, come on, man. You know I painted that maroon. That's, that's purple. <laughs> All right. Okay, man. Well, I appreciate that. So I guess now that the only thing to do is just get it built, right? right? And, you know, that's all me, so I'll get right on that, okay? There's a lot of parts. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. All right, so we've had an intern, Chris Malone, working with us this summer, and he wanted to come in. He's an engineering student up at UT in uh, Dallas. He wanted to spend some time working on the battery management system with us, and we selected Orion. So he has cobbled together a really nice little test bed here, and being true to the bloodshed motors, it looks cluttered, but it's truly functional. And he was shaking everything out prior to us actually starting to mount any of this in the car. So I'm going to let Chris take us through what he's done with the Orion BMS and what its purposes are. So what we have here is a test battery, a four cell battery off the Zombie. It's 12 volts and okay. we're monitoring that off the Orion here. And uh, we have that hooked up to a microcontroller that's talking to the Orion through CAN bus. And we're going to use this to read thermal probe data off of the Orion um, and that's going to control pumps and cooling systems for the final car. So we're going to test that out. Okay, now that's going to show up here is your data, your temperature data, so yep. the battery pack. That's your display. And it's going to drive a cooling pump? Yep. So what's this pump from this here? This is the same pump off the Tesla Model S here. It's a good cooling pump, and we're going to control that off the Arduino based off of the thermal. All right, now why did you need the Arduino to augment the, uh, the Orion BMS? Uh, the Orion on its own can only control one uh, fan. It can't do cooling pumps. So that's right. why we needed that. Okay, well, it's going to be a live demo, so let's do it. Yeah. What so you going to do here? I'm going to dip this into some hot water, and it's going to turn the speed of the pump up. All right. So you can see the temperature going up there. Oh, yeah, it's hot water. It's going up quick. Yeah. Whoa, here it there comes. There you go. You can hear it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man, that, oh. pump, that pump is kicking. Pretty serious. All right, so now what are you going to do? I'm going to put it in some cold water to cool it off. All right. You should see that go down now, and then you'll hear the pump slow down. Yeah. And the flow rate should drop down too. Oh yeah, much more control. Wow, that's impressive. And then this display also shows us the state of charge of the entire battery pack. Yeah. It's a state of charge. It's reading it off of a current sensor. Yeah. Well, Chris, you've done an amazing job, my man. Thank you so much for your help this summer. Go back and make some good grades so you can All come right. back and work with us. Thanks. <laughs>